Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing the demo to a game called Fossil Fuel, apparently a cross between Jurassic Park and Half-Life, and that sounds pretty awesome, so I'm here to give it a go. If you want to give it a go yourselves, look down below in the description. The links and the details will be down there, and you can actually download this demo for free, okay? Really hope you enjoy it. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to deal with that, aren't I? Really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like by the end of it, and leave your thoughts down below in the comments as well. Here we go, we're starting a new game, and I think I'm gonna choose Normal Difficulty. Okay, so the Great Sitkin Island of Alaska. Very nice. In 2025, the Sierra Research Institute made a major genetic breakthrough by genetically cloning two extinct animals. The... I couldn't read in time. As the financial benefits grew, a massive underground facility was constructed to house a new trillion dollar initiative. Okay, I think I see where this is going. To bring back extinct dinosaurs. Who didn't see that one coming? <laughs> I suppose this is the Jurassic Park part of the game. Well, this isn't going to be a very good idea. And I'm sure John Broyhill knows that. Okay, so this is fossil fuel. What I'm wondering is, is this going to be better than Dino Crisis? I hope so, but uh, well, I suppose that's what I'm here to find out. Okay. Alright. 500 feet underground. Subterranean. And here we are. We're in control. And we need to pass through security. Right. What's this? Can I? Oh, brilliant. Oh, I can't pick it up, but I can certainly pay for it. Okay. <laughs> well, that's kind of neat. Right, security. Now, what's this? Oh, okay, so the basic controls. Okay, so pretty standard looking controls. Fairly normal. Um, C for flashlight, Alt for quick melee. Okay. Alright. I won't bore you with the details, I'll just skim read this. Okay. Okay, so limited inventory space. Space management is important. There's money, credits, which I just spent, I suppose. Yep, experience to gain, right? And uh, it seems like I can save at blue laptops. Okay, checkpoints are used, but sparingly. Fair enough. All right, are we good to go? I think we're good to go. Hello, sir. Please step forward to the airlock for sanitation. Okay, this way. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too, weird robot thing. Right. Uh, so... Here we are. Either this is the airlock or I'm getting gassed immediately. <laughs> Seems like my flashlight doesn't work at the moment. It was C, right? Huh. Okay. Hey. Hey. to the pit, brother. You're running a little late, aren't you? <laughs> the director, he called a big meeting this morning. It's already started. Well, hurry up, get your stuff over in the cubby there, and I'll get the security gate unlocked. Okay. Oh, no, that... Oh. Just for a second, I thought that guy was run over, but he's okay, he's okay, he's okay. Right. Uh, bit of a shame, but there's no subtitles at the moment, so, um, yeah, hopefully you can hear what the characters are saying. What we got here? Okay, good morning. As many of you know, we have a new game warden joining us today. We're all very saddened by the loss of our previous warden, Isaac, but it's time to move forward and welcome our new team member. That's gonna be me, I suppose. A mandatory meeting is to be held at 8am for all staff, so we can introduce the new game warden, as well as go over some new safety regulations here at the base. Uh, it seems like maintenance has informed the administration that possible power drains should be expected over the next six hours. Oh dear. These drains are expected to be mild and will not interfere with day-to-day -day operations. Or so they think, but I bet they bloody will. Elon Musk, the director there. Okay, alright. Uh, right. So... This is for me, is it? This helmet? Okay, it's for my head. I'm going to collect that. And this? Oh, right. Well, this is the attachment. This is why it didn't work. Right. Um, yep. Oh, and this is the money. The uh, the credits, rather. Okay, is that it? Nothing else to find? It still doesn't work, so hang on. Tab for the inventory and documents and map, apparently. Okay. Interesting looking map. 
Uh, is that going to update as we go? Hmm, it might, I suppose. Uh, I suppose that's the area we want to go to up there. That's the meeting room. Okay. So, the helmet? Well, this is meant to be attached to the helmet, actually. So, what, combine? Ah, there you go. Oh, wonderful. This light will last for weeks, and it doesn't take standard batteries, so we don't need to worry about that. Use. Ah, wonderful. To be honest, it's a pretty good flashlight, too. Okay, right. Well, I suppose if there's nothing else to pick up, we should get a move on. We should get to this meeting, shouldn't we? Right, yeah, so some doors will open automatically, some won't. Remember to use maximum precautions around specimens. Oh, don't worry, I will, I will. So, hi there. You must be the new game warden. Right. Orientation room is right through those doors. Through there, yeah? Which probably means I should go this way. <laughs> yeah. What we got here? An audio tour. Welcome to the Sierra Research Institute. Okay. You are currently at the Specimen Transfer Station, where prehistoric life, brought back through the power of modern science, is catalogued and transferred to the subterranean biodome. All right. Here at Sierra, we believe in the restoration of nature through the power of science. Okay, so it is like Jurassic Park, just more metallic, basically. Okay. Right, so... Oh, hang on, what we got here? Oh, Utah Raptor, wonderful. I'm going to have to deal with raptors, aren't I? Yeah. Up to 2.5 meters, wonderful. Okay, uh, sure. Anything else? Oh, okay. Oh, look at this. I must note that raptor breeding has gone out of control. We now have no idea how many raptors have had undocumented offspring. Well into triple digits, apparently. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, okay. Yeah, thanks for that, Dr. Jim Sweet. <laughs> I'll have to deal with that little problem a little bit later on. Right, what about this guy? Hey. What you looking at? Not you, apparently. All right, yeah. I think I am due to get a gun at some point. Right. Hey there. What's he up to? Hey, buddy, do you mind leaving me alone? <laughs> I probably should, yeah. It looks a little bit dangerous. Plus, I should get to this meeting, shouldn't I? So, it's going to be through these doors. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh. Very bright, very white. Okay. Uh, hello, new colleagues. You're not going to let me in? What's up? Uh, What's going on? I knew this meeting was a bad idea. Now that is going to interrupt day-to-day -day operations. <laughs> You can't tell me otherwise. Oh, bloody hell. Restore power to the elevator. Oh, this is one of those blue laptops where we can save, but I'm not going to do that, at least not right now, because, well, I'm an idiot. Right. Yeah, hopefully you can hear that. I really wish there were subtitles, or if that was just a little bit louder, because I am struggling to hear some of these people, but, um... Right. Uh, looks like we might be able to go this way now. Oh. I, I can't really see the white on white. I mean, it's, it's so bright, the flashlight, but yeah, okay. I think it needs a, a blue key card. Is that what it said? Right, so I, I need to find a blue key card. Uh... Let's see. Probably should have asked this a little bit earlier, but can I leave? There's a switch that operates this door, and where is it? It should be by the side of the door, you'd think, but it isn't. Um, through here? Ah, now we're talking, okay, right. Ah, hang on, what's this? First aid kit, okay, well, 100% of my health, that's 100% going in my inventory. Okay. Uh, yeah, it seems like we have lost a lot of a lot of power here. Security door. Yeah, if anything, I think the flashlight is a bit too bright, but I think, based on what I heard, I have just opened the door. So we might be able to get through. Yes, okay, brilliant. Okay. Ooh, ooh. An axe? A fire axe, an emergency axe. It has a sharp blade. It's a last resort weapon. Well, right now, it's my first resort. 
That doesn't sound good. Hmm, okay, right. Uh, can I leave? Because <laughs> I do really want to leave. <laughs> I can't open it with the power out. And I need to restore power to use the elevator that I came down on. Okay, fair enough, right. Well, at least, you know, I've got the right objective. I just want to restore the power to get out of here, right? Okay. Not so sure I agree with the noise, but... <laughs> this is what plays when I take a swing. Okay. Um... Oh no. The poor guy, he was reduced to a pool of blood. Well, not even a pool. Just a, a spatter, really. Now, where was the guy with the gun? Where did he run off to? Maybe I can find his gun. Okay. Got the cafeteria there. This door... Oh, this requires a yellow keycard now. Okay, we need a lot of keycards. Maybe I can uh, find a way through in the cafe. Okay, brilliant placement. Don't suppose I can jump over, can I? No. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I can. <laughs> I don't think I meant to, though, no. The game seems alright so far. It does seem a little bit janky, a little bit rough around the edges. A little bit unpolished here and there. Ah, oh, we got a body over there. Wonderful. Okay. Oh, that does not look comfy. Hang on, hang on. You can barely see this with the flashlight on, but... A yellow keycard! Right! Wonderful. Thank you for that. Okay, anything else? Doesn't really look like it. Do I, uh, do I want any of this? It's a cooking bowl. This is of no use. <laughs> Still, nice that I can pick it up and examine it though, right? Alright. Is it alright? It's definitely not all right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, right. It. Oh yeah. Oh, uh. Uh. Oh fuck. Oh god. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna hide here. Oh shit. Oh, surely you. You would have seen me. Are you? Are you digging in? I think you're digging in. Okay. You eat the corpse. I'll go this way. Yeah, don't want to make any noise, though. Okay. Right. Oh, right. You came from that way. Right. I, I, for a moment, I thought it had, like, keycard access. <laughs> okay, right. Well, can we close the door? We can. We can. Okay. Fan-fucking-tastic. Right. We've got blood on this side. That is not good. Um, okay. Light switch that actually works? Okay. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, honestly. What have we got here? A health file. Okay. It needs a syringe to be used. Well, I think I see a syringe right there. Combined with a serum. Right, so... Just like that. And that's 50% of the health. Okay, that's pretty good. Does it tell me my health anywhere? Hmm. Going through here. I see bolt cutters. Yep. Okay. Uh, hang on. What we got here? Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, Jesus Christ! Fucking hell! Oh, uh, okay. This might be a last resort, but it bloody worked. What? What was I hearing? And did it completely break the door down? Bugger me. Right, what? Tell you what. Maybe I should keep the lights off. <laughs> I don't know. Right, well... I, I, I've done it now, haven't I? I've done it now. So, yeah, what was going on? What was going on? There's a, there's a health file in here that I can barely see because the fucking lights are off now. There we go. Yeah, this flashlight's a little bit too bright. Okay, and another syringe. Sure. So if I did want to just like... Yeah, if I wanted to drop stuff, I just press X. So yeah, we uh, we don't have to pick and choose quite like that. But I suppose as soon as I drop it, I probably won't be able to pick it up again. Should we try that? Uh, oh no, it is actually on the floor, to be fair. So there you go. Alright. 
Nothing else to find there. Okay. Shouldn't be running around, really. Not with the dinosaurs also running around, but I'm fairly sure this is where I use the bolt cutters, right? Nice. Okay, so... Ah, now we're talking. Yes, a Lawgiver pistol. 9mm ammo. Alright, and that's the 9mm. Wonderful. And that's part of the inventory, is it? Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, so, use. Brilliant. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, right. Well, I think I'm going to stick with this as I read this. Journal entry 35. The days just seem to get longer. Working around those monsters just makes me uneasy. I know if the guys upstairs ever found out I brought a weapon to work, it would be my ass. But I want some personal protection in case one of the prehistoric beasts ever get out. Joe, I like you. Crustacean, technical advisor. Hmm. Interesting. I guess it's not going to be just raptors. What have we got here? More credits! Okay, nice. Very nice. Well, I'm, um, I'm feeling a little bit more powerful with a gun in my hand now, you know? Okay. The armory? Oh, I like the sound of that. And there's no dinosaurs in here. Fantastic! Ah, uh, how do we get this open? Is there a button? What have we got back there? Ah, uh, well, lots of equipment. Shit. Uh, I, I guess maybe there's a button around here. Maybe through here. Okay. Alright. I think that was meant to start on me, but it didn't. Oh. That did. Okay. I think I heard it to my... Ooh. Yep, I heard it to my right. I'm ready. I am ready. Is it ready? I don't know. We'll find out. Looks like there's a door up here on the left. Maybe I should try it. Uh, it, it slinks away. It knows I'm going to shoot it in the head. Okay. Oh dear. Right. Close the door. Wait. Ooh. I think I just. I think I just saw it. Ye Hello. Looks like. The dinosaurs have got pretty good animation at the very least. That's that's pretty good. They do look pretty good. What was that? Oh, hey. Was that the guy that I saw earlier? Oh, someone like him at the very least. Right. Okay, I think I'm safe. I think I'm okay. Through here? Yeah, it works. Okay, we got a, we got a laptop here. Well, I can save the game. I might do it this time. There you go. Um... Something down here? What the hell was that? The power just went out in my office. As chief technical engineer, I can tell you, this was no accident. Not only is the power out, my cell phone's broken? The only thing that could do something like this is an electromagnetic pulse, I suppose. My god, can you imagine if any of the Vel velociraptors got out? None of us would make it out alive. They're probably the most dangerous predator to ever walk the Earth. The breaker room is just down the hall, apparently. Ah, right. You mean through the fire? Hopefully I won't need old Betty. Hmm. I like the idea of old Betty. Am I, am I carrying old Betty right now? The photo feels heavy. Oh. Oh! Oh, they got a blue key card. Yeah, for that door by the uh, the meeting room, right? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take that with me. Okay. Yeah, another broken phone. I've got a box here. Old oh, Betty. Ah, right, I see. Well, I mean, surely I could just shoot this. Or, or use the axe, right? But apparently, no, I can't. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Ah, okay. Well, there's definitely something in the box. Maybe I can come back later. We've got more what, credits. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I quite like this so far. I think it's alright. Right, so, uh, unless I can jump through the fire, we need to find another way through, don't we? Oh, I see you. But thankfully you don't see me. Maybe you can't see through doors. Yeah, um, that ain't gonna happen. Right. Let's do this. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. 
fuck. I was not ready for that. I was not expecting that at all. Looks like the guy actually took a couple of them out. Security, Lieutenant Finley. Specimen containment breaches. Oh, bloody hell. Oh god. Whew. To be honest, it was easier with the axe. Shit, right. Well, I've just made a load of noise, so if there's any more around, they're gonna probably come running. But they haven't come running, so... I don't know, maybe I'm good. Nothing else around here. So let's take another look at that map, actually. Are we sort of updating it as we go? Uh, well, that was the cafeteria, wasn't it? So, yeah, kind of. That's the sort of office area. Right. Still looks like a very odd map. Yeah, I don't really like the look of it. A aesthetically, it's not very pleasing. Let's put it that way. But, yeah, I guess it does the job. Right, okay. So, if I can, I want to see if I can get back... Through there. That's a thing. Since when was there a fucking hole here? Yeah, I want to get back this way. I want to try the uh, I want to try the key card out on that door. Okay. Everything seems okay. I'm sure it's not. I'm certain it's not. Right. But let's see. I can get through here now. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, right, left. What's to the left? The toilet. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Wow, okay, that, that felt like it was made for me, you know? Because you know that I can't stop myself from going into a toilet. My god. Right. I guess the uh, the bar in the bottom right, that's probably my health. Let's see what happens if I try one of these syringes. So, uh, uh, yeah. What was it? Was it space to use, yeah? Okay, so yeah. Oh, wonderful. Damn. Well, that gave me a, a, a pretty big fright. There was nothing in the toilet anyway. Right, so down we go. Okay. Yeah, it's a janky, rough around the edges game, but I am enjoying it. I believe the full version is out now. I believe it's in early access. The links, of course, will be down below in the description. Oh boy, look at this. Oh boy, look at this! A shotgun! Pump action shotgun, right. I'm taking that with me, and... 12 gauge, yeah, okay. Take that too. Anything in the backpack? Uh, not exactly, but I'm using that to have four extra slots. Right, so we've got twelve now. Lovely. What have we got here? Animals getting out of their pens. Oh, tell me about it. There was just a massive explosion. What the hell is going on up there? I came down to check on the animals and half of them have escaped? Rocks have fallen, blocking the main passage too. Each panic door has a built-in breaker, so I was able to flip A and B back on to keep the remaining animals in their pens. Even so, most of them have escaped. Lucky I got my shotgun. With the power out, I'm sure the technicians don't have any of the door codes written down on good old paper. Paddock A door code is 5566, Private Jared Morin. Sierra Security. Well, thank you very much. 5566. Okay, anything else? Doesn't seem like it, so... Ah, wonderful. Now we are talking. Okay. 24 rounds, too. So is that seriously the only choice? That's what he was talking about, right? The rocks blocking the way. Ah, oh, did you? Ooh. Did I? Did I see something there? <laughs> I may have. I may have. Right. Oh bloody hell! What? I see a deer in there, and it's still alive. So maybe I can get through unscathed as well. Hang on. Five, five, six, six. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good thing, really, but... Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, Jurassic Park, The Lost World, anyone? Oh! <laughs> well, there's a sign. 
If the deer's running towards me, there's probably something over here that I don't want to bump into. Don't really want to have the flashlight on the entire time either. Jesus. Oh, oh that didn't sound good. Let's, oh, oh, I... Oh, I think I see one. I do see one. Oh, is it dead? Is it dead? I don't know. Alright, I'm going with the shotgun now. I think the body should be here, although... Well, the, the bodies disappear, don't they, so... Well, I haven't been eaten, so that's good. Right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep to this sort of uh, this right side here. Keep to the outskirts if I can. Keep out of the grass too. Oh, that is me. It's just me. It's just me. Okay. So far, so good. I got my boomstick just in case shit starts. Oh, this way. This way, okay. <laughs> Who puts a flimsy fence here? Of course they're gonna break out. Oh my god. This way? Oh, that's the, uh, yeah, that's the blockage, isn't it? Okay, so this should be the main path. And we're out of the paddock, so I'm, I'm glad about that. Was that paddock B? Oh, wonderful. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Somewhere else to save. Which I will actually use, because why not? Don't know how long the demo is, but you know, could come in handy. Um, let's see, is this also. There's a keypad, right? Yeah, 5566. Five, six, six. No, that's wrong. That is wrong. Okay, so it's a different code for paddock B. I'm gonna go left. Yeah, I'm gonna go left. Okay. Everything seems okay here, to be honest. What's this? A maintenance report, right. Can we get some actual scaffolding down here? We're using... Oh. Oh! Oh, Jesus! What the... What's this? What the hell is this? Right, okay. Um, is it safe to read? <laughs> I didn't lose too much health. It was only a little nibble, but man. Hang on. I can barely see anything with the flashlight, honestly. It's a great flashlight, but it is too bright. Okay. More ammo. A notepad with the number 34 written on it. Okay. I'm taking that with me, apparently. An empty syringe, which I suppose I'll take. I've got the inventory space now, right? Uh, and I think that's it. That's the gist of it, right? Right. Where the hell did that thing even come from? Yeah, very suspicious. Maybe it came from down here. Right. So I've got to think that the two digits that I've got are probably just like half the code. So maybe I'm going to find the other half down here. I'm getting tailed, thankfully. Okay. Oh, shift around the space bar to jump. Well, like, to be honest, I can see why he's complaining. This is ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, it looks like uh, to the very right of my health, the, the bottom right, that's my stamina. So I've got a fair amount of it, to be honest. But it does go down. Okay, so what we got here? That's a little bit different. That's an antidote vial. That can cure me if I'm poisoned. I can get poisoned? Fucking hell, I can get poisoned, apparently. Okay, well, that's gonna get combined with that. Okay. Another notepad. Oh, this one, this one's 29. So, 34, 29, or 29, 34. Okay, that's it. I think that's it. If I fell down there, would I be able to get back up? Well, let's not find out. There we go. Oh, I think... 
I think there is actually a ladder. That's that's something. Oh god. That's something too. Oh shit. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. They just approached so silently. <laughs> to be honest, that's probably how the first one snuck up on me. It seems like the uh, the shotgun is pretty good. No more? No? I'll check the ceilings now. Fucking hell. Probably the walls too. Okay. Right. So, which way round is it? 34, 29? Or is it 29, 34? Okay. Seems like that one worked. Okay, so what was stored in paddock B, precisely? Find the escape ladder. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh god, what is this? Okay. Syringes? Okay, two empty... S oh, I can't carry them all, of course. Um, okay. Right, we've got to do a little bit of inventory management. Yeah, it's like a survival horror game. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to want to combine that with that. That's the notepad with 34 and 29. I don't need those anymore. So there you go, you've got three more slots. Perfect. So another health vial, another antidote vial, and another syringe, right? And what's this? Titan of Boa. Oh, the fucking snake? Yeah, it's the largest snake ever. 42 feet, native to Colombia. And here, I guess. Yep. It's a new addition. It's a new addition down here. Wonderful. It likes to eat fish, but I'm going to look very fishy to it, I'm sure. Okay. It's been very aggressive with the workers. <laughs> uh, yep, antidote serum. Yep, we're going to need that. It's going to poison us. Again, thank you, Jim. So, it's down there, is it? I notice it's saving, probably for a fucking good reason, too. Oh, bugger me. Here we go. <laughs> Barely a splash, just a little pop. Ooh, I don't like that. Is that... Is that me making all that noise? It's like the noise is lagging behind me. Right, I think it is just me, though. No giant snake, no worries. What have we got here? Oh, uh, ah. Uh, well, there's... There's more to there's more to pick up. Tell you what I'll do. Um, I, I can't do it here, can I? I will combine. No, no, not the shotgun. I'll combine that with that, and I'll pick up a few more rounds if possible. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Can I pick these up actually? No, it doesn't seem like I can. I can't combine the two. Never mind. Yeah, that sounds really disconcerting. Uh... That... that's it, isn't it? Ooh. Oh dear. It's just like a very, very big anaconda. Right. Um... Oh, I am hurting it, apparently. I assume that's a health bar. Okay. Oh! Okay, it seems to be glitching around quite a lot. Just another example of it, uh, you know, being a, a janky game. To be honest, it's not that quick, either. Yeah, I'm getting a few shots on it. I figure I might as well, you know, waste all my ammo and then go pick up the others. If I can. Oh, oh dear. Alright, right. I don't want to get backed up into a corner. I don't want to get poisoned. Right, so that's that. Um, doesn't seem to be working all that well all the time. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, no, actually. It's surprisingly resilient. Alright, so, there you go. Added that. I don't even think I'm doing damage to it anymore. Hmm, yeah, okay. I don't think this is quite as good as Dino Crisis. I see what it's going for. 
but um, it, it needs a little bit more work, I would say. Okay. All right, do that again. Do that again. Oh, that was that's an awful bite attack, honestly. I mean, that doesn't. That's not going to reach me. But it is going to allow you to get fucking shot. It seems like I can only shoot this thing above the water line. If I shoot through the water, it just doesn't affect it. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be dead soon. Okay. All right. Nearly there. Ah, oh, I missed. I missed. Okay. Ooh. Got it. I've got it. And it's not coming back, right? Whoa! Oh, gee, fucking what? What is this? I've been poisoned. I've been poisoned, so I want to use that. There you go. Right. How the? What? 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 What is this? Do I want to know? <laughs> Probably whatever's poisoning me. Can I just climb? Maybe I could have just done that from the get-go. Maybe I didn't even need to fight it. Oh, man. Anyway, yeah. The demo continues. We've still got to restore power to the elevator. And to be honest, I've got a heal. Yeah, right. First aid kit there. Um, I'm just going to use this bog standard one, to be honest. There you go. I guess I'll take that with me, just in case. Don't know if I'm going to get poisoned again, but let's not risk it. Oh, bloody hell. Right. Uh, so let's see. Shop. There's a shop. Okay. Hi. This is the guy at the security booth, right? Hello, employee. So Maintenance buy... and supply goods oh, yeah. are sold here. Weird. Okay, well, I don't think I want to buy anything apart from, well, maybe shotgun ammo. There you go. Take care and remember that Sierra, we can. <laughs> okay, thanks for that. Right. Um, yeah, let's save again. And let's keep on going. Let's see if we can restore this power. Okay. Uh, also, I might want to reload this. Just in case. Right. Alright. No, it's not alright. I see one. Oh, it's dead. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, bloody hell. You bit me. Is there another one? I think there might be another one, to be honest. Right, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna retreat a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna use one of these. There you go. Back up to full health. Okay. Right, let's just sort of comb the area, take out any more raptors. Hmm. Looks like there's something over there. I don't know what it is, but... It's a small key, a small padlock key, and it opens something. Okay. Oh, damn. Not much of it left. Yeah, okay. Wait, hang on. To be honest, I thought the screen was showing something, but I think it's just a cracked screen. This one might be showing something. Oh, hang on. A red keycard. Ah, right. Okay, well, if I can find a, a red keycard door, that'll be fantastic. Yeah, it seems like there's, uh, there's no more dinosaurs around here, thankfully. And I can't seem to use any of this. I can pick up a few more credits, though. Containment. Oh, boy. Uh, this? This doesn't seem to work for some reason. Uh, this one? Is that a red keycard door? I don't know, but I'm through. I'm through. This looks a little familiar. That's the elevator, isn't it? This is where I saw that guy, and he told me to go to the meeting. Right. So I can go that way. Can we go this way? Can we? No, we can't get that out of the way. Okay, well... Right. Well, actually, on a map. Uh, let's go to the map. Um... That's where I read the note saying that the breaker was just down the hall. So I'm heading in the right direction this way. Yeah, okay. I 
keep pressing F to use. <laughs> it puts the gun away. Uh, up here. Alright. I feel a lot safer with this shotgun now, I've got to be honest. It seems like a very good weapon. Right, that's the fire. Yes, okay, so we're on the other side of the fire, so... Is it through here? Ah! Sub-level breaker, yes. Yes! I don't have to rely on the flashlight so much. Good stuff, we've got sprinklers as well, so... No fire. Wonderful. Um... So I guess I want to go back this way and then to the left to get to the elevator, don't I? I am wondering though, if I go a little bit further and try that box, that padlock key. And yeah, there we go, that, that might do it, right? Yeah, that's it. Oh, and this is old Betty, is it? A cutlass revolver. Okay, it's only got six shots, but very high stopping power. All right. You what? Uh... Um... Oh god. <gasps> Homo Erectus Rex?! What the fuck is this?! Right. I'm, uh, I'm getting out of here. Homo Erectus- oh god. Nope. No, it's not happening. Oh god. Oh shit. Are they both down? They are, but he's not. Oh my god, please don't tell me I have to take him out. Right, I'm getting a little bit lost. Do I- I go this way, don't I? Yeah, right, 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 right. This is past the cafeteria. I go this way. Any more dinosaurs? Any more human-dinosaur hybrids? <laughs> god damn. Um... Well, I mean, this is it, right? Oh. Oh, this door opens as well! That would have been a nice shortcut! Ah! But the elevator! It took me 41 minutes, but I made it to the end. I got a B and a C. Oh, hang on. That B. Is there an A? Maybe if I kill that dinosaur-human hybrid? Not really sure, but uh, there you go. That was the demo to Fossil Fuel. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought this was okay. Overall, I, I do think it is a little bit janky. It's a little bit rough around the edges, and it does need to polish up here and there. I do like the way a lot of it looks. Uh, I do like the way the dinosaurs look. It seems like we're getting a, a bit of variety with the dinosaurs as well. The gunplay feels pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's, it's stuff like... The, the Titan of Boa animation that didn't look too great. Uh, the environments do look a little bit samey, a little bit too metallic, not so aesthetically pleasing, a little bit like the map. Uh, it would be nice if you could make the voices a little bit louder and add some subtitles. It's just little additions that I think would go a long way. But um, yeah, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. by genetically cloning two extinct animals, the... I couldn't read in time. This way? Have a nice day! Thank you! You too, weird robot thing. These drains are expected to be mild and will not interfere with day-to-day -day operations. Or so they think, but I bet they bloody will. I knew this meeting was a bad idea. Brilliant placement. Don't suppose I can jump over, can I? No. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I can. <laughs> All right. Is it all right? It's definitely not all right. I want some personal protection in case one of the prehistoric beasts ever get out. Joe, I like you. Okay, I think I heard it to my rule. Yep, I heard it to my right. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What's to the left? The toilet. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Oh boy, look at this. Oh boy, look at this! Can we get some actual scaffolding down here? We're using... Oh! Oh! Oh, Jesus! What the... What's this? I think there is actually a ladder. That's... that's something. Oh god. That's something too. Yeah, it's the largest snake ever. 42 feet, native to Colombia. And here, I guess. Oh, bugger me. Here we go. Barely a splash, just a little pop. And it's not coming back, right? 
Whoa! Oh, gee, fucking what? What is this? You what? <laughs> 